Hi everyone, this is Eric, otherwise known as XDN from BeatTheCasino.com. And uh, Baldy had an interesting question uh, that he posted on the forum. And I thought it'd be easier to do a really short, informal kind of answer video rather than post uh, a whole book on, on, the, uh, on the forum for people to read. Um, let's look at Baldy's question here. If I jump in in the middle of a shoe, how do I know to bet opposite of what the app is telling me? Because earlier in, a, in another thread, I had said, when the shoe flips, you'll be betting the opposite of what shows on the XDB counter until the count can catch up to the now opposite side winning. Can I show an example? So let's have a look at an example. Um, we've been using this shoe, and it's a good example shoe for uh, this, um, explaining this concept, shoe 9591 on uh, the strategic Baccarat interface. So right now we've, let's say you have just logged in and you see this hand, this shoe at hand 23. Um, I strongly advise you and everyone using the app to go ahead and plug in all the previous hands you can see. That's what's going to find, that's what's going to give you an idea of what anomalies are working. If you just if you come into here at hand 23 and you don't plug any of this information in, yeah, you're not really going to know in the app when the flip happens, at least in this shoe. Um, so go ahead and plug that in, and we can see at hand 23 here. Uh, it's going to be hand 20 on on the app because I'm not putting the ties in. We can see at this point um, XTB opposite recommendations have won three more times than um, XTB repeat um, labeled as XR and XO. Uh, so opposites have won three more times than XTB repeats. So let's just go ahead and walk through this uh, rather quickly here. So um, we'll go to the next event here. Now this banker event, we've just went from a mul player multiple event to a banker event. We don't know if this banker is a single or multiple next until the next hand. Either the hand is going to be a make it a multiple or a single, but we don't know yet. Know that yet. So the uh, XTB recommendation is for player, and we can see around the XTB uh, display box here that uh, we can see the red indicator that XTB opposites are hot at this point in time. Now, all that means is the last two out of three XTB opposite recommendations have won. And you can change the hot trigger settings right here. Uh, two of three, three of four, three of five, whatever you want. I tend to like two of three at this point. Uh, that might change in the future as you know we learn more and, and use the app uh, a little bit more. But for right now, it's two of three. And XTB opposite has won two out of the last three of its recommendations. So right now it's recommending player. So let's go to the next hand. All right. And it was player. So what happened in this case is uh, the app has, dis d has shown you that the uh, XTB opposite pattern is working right now. Should you choose to bet it, player would be the bet that would get you the next XTB opposite, which is exactly what happened. Going back to the shoe on this banker one here, we didn't know that was a one until the player's um, a event come along and confirmed it. So that turned the multiple banker unconfirmed into a mul multiple player banker single. So like I said, we did not know that until we got the second hand, we got a second banker, or it switched to a player. So now we know this banker event is a single. So XTB, uh, we'll go back here. We see XTB opposite is recommending player, which would make this unconfirmed player go to a player two, which would confirm a uh, repeat or a multiple event. So that would be, if we had a banker and two players, that would be an XTB opposite because that would be um, a multiple a single followed by a multiple or a multiple with a single uh, attached to it so let's go ahead and see what the next hand is and it was a player um, yeah this shoe was cherry picked as it's a good example just for demonstration so now uh, that we're at the second event 
XDB is only concerned with one stays one or one goes to two. It's just, a, it's telling you how the shoe is stitched together and how basically events are joining together. Are multiples joining to multiples? Are singles joining to singles? Or are multiples joining to singles? So let's go ahead and plug, uh, go ahead and do the next hands. Okay. So that was a player two event. Oops. Make that a banker. So now, since XTB, since the app has found that the XTB opposite event is still working, and it has won two of the last three, um, the app is telling you if you want to, if you choose to play the next XTB event, it should be opposite. So we've got a multiple here, and again, a single banker, but it's unconfirmed. We don't know what it is. So <clears throat> for the XTB, for this next event to be an opposite, we need a player because that would be the two player multiple would be um, joined to a banker single. And that's if player goes opposite. So let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. So um, I think that's, uh, you know, this is the end of the XTB opposite run in this shoe. Let me just go ahead. And I did pick this shoe because it's a good example. Okay. So let's go ahead and get uh, we have player, player, bank, player, bank. Let me make sure that's right again. Player, player, bank, player, bank, bank. Okay, so let's get to the next event here. Tie, bank. So we had another bank and a tie. Okay. Um, in this example shoe, this is where <clears throat> the shoe goes from XTB opposites to XTB repeats. So the opposites, you can see. Let's just take a look at where the uh, cursor is here. Multiple followed by a single. Single followed by a multiple. Multiple followed by a single. The events are not the same, and that's what XDB is tracking. Multiple is an opposite of single. Single is an opposite of multiple. So in this part in the shoe, here's where we start to get XTB repeats. Multiples following multiples. <clears throat> so the next hand, let's just go by event here. Okay, no, let's don't do that. So um, right now, we're at hand 29, and... XTB opposite is recommending a banker because XTB opposites have been strong in this shoe. We've got a count of uh, six, which means XTB opposites have won six times more than XTB repeats. So if you choose to bet that, you would choose a banker to continue this trend. So let's see what happens. Okay, we got a player, so this recommendation lost. So immediately you see the hot highlight goes away, so it's neutral condition. Um, I don't let this alarm me very much because um, in two out of three, when you miss one, the statistic is going to go neutral. So you may want to just keep an eye on it when it does that for a later play. But uh, So it went neutral right away. And uh, let's go ahead and put some new hands in. Okay, so now we've went to, now we got on the next potential event. So XTB opposite is... Um, now at a count of five in this shoe. Up to this point, XTB opposite has still been strong. Um, we're at a count of five. It's no longer hot, but it's still strong. So you you could wait. You can maybe think, um, you know, it's going to go back to opposites or start a different section. So let's just uh, go to the next hand here. Okay, it's a banker. So now... <clears throat> I want to undo that and have you watch this. So um, XDB opposite is recommending player, but it went banker. So let's keep an eye on this box here. Banker. Boom. It goes cold. Okay. So now we've got something different in the shoe. And I would recognize this as a shoe change for right now for a couple of reasons. One we've only in this shoe we've never had three multiples joined together we've never even had three singles joined together 
So this is three multiples joined together, and it's a shoe change. So how do we know when this flip is going to happen? Well, we don't really know until after it, hap after it happens. That's the way with Baccarat. But we do know this is something different. So you might want to sit on your hands until you figure out what's going on. So um, XTB opposite in those two hands there has went from hot to neutral to cold. Okay, so let's just get to the next event here. And back to player. Okay. Let's take a, let's take a quick uh, pause here and discuss theory. Um, when I was developing XTB, um, and this has been confirmed um, as a tendency by GBO9. He's seen this as well. But when I was developing XTB, um, I noticed that when you had a strong trend of either XTB opposite or XTB repeat, many times, and it's common for this, the shoe would flip and the new bias would stick long enough for you to get some units out of. XTB, the events, which are just multiple and single, that's one of the most stable 50-50 events in the game. Um, there's three 50-50 events that I'm aware of. There may be more, but you've got player banker, opposite repeat, and single multiples. There's probably others, but um, we'll just go with that for right now. Opposite repeat and banker player, they can get out of that 50-50 um, percentage and just go crazy and never come back. But in my research, I've found that the events of single and multiple are a lot smoother. Um, if they get out of balance, they tend to come back into balance. And um, I think we've had some confirmation on that with uh, the past discussions with uh, GB9's joined events and uh, Canada Box um, uh, horizontal events, horizontal Baccarat. And um, so what I'm looking at here is in the first half of this shoe, we've had um, an X or a strong XTB opposite um, uh, bias so far. And it was up to six. Now it's down to four. So I understanding the tendency that a lot of times XTB joined events, whatever you want to call them, um, goes from one type of joined event to another and sticks, I'm going to go ahead and bet that this one's going to stick, especially since we've seen this run of multiples now. So back to Baldi's question. <laughs> that was all set up for the question. <laughs> if I jump in the middle of a shoe, how do I know to bet opposite of what the app is telling me? Okay. So up, up to this point in the shoe, opposites have been leading. They've been winning. The last two hands, or the last two events, um, the indicator has went cold. And I'm going to use my own judgment. The app doesn't tell you this specifically. There's no way it could. I'm going to look at the shoe, use my own judgment, and say, hey, I think this is an XTB flip. I think it's going to flip from XTB opposites to XTB repeats. So, like I said, there's no way to program that judgment call into the app. You have to make that yourself by your own observation and your own intuition, gut feeling as it be, or your analysis, however you want to call it. But at this point, I would see this and say, oh, I think this is going to go XTB repeats. Okay. So, since... X, the XTB counter is a running count. We have been up to plus six on the XTB opposites. Opposites are an addition of one to the running counter, if you remember. Repeats are a, an, an addition of a negative one or a subtraction of one from the counter. So the blue indicator here tells us, tells us XTB opposite has gone cold and is now losing. And I am confirming that with what I see on the screen here. I've got repeats now. We've got repeats of multiple events coming and coming and coming. So, XTB opposite 
is recommending a banker here. But it's went cold. And I'm going to go ahead and play the flip. So I want to play the opposite of what it's recommend, recommending. It's a little bit of a twist, brain twister, and I uh, apologize for that, but that's just the way that a running counter works. So XTB opposite had been winning. Now we know that it's cold because the blue indicator, the red indicator turned to blue. But we're still on the XTB opposite side of the count. So it's still going to recommend Banker. When actually, if you're going to play the XTB, if you're going to play it to flip, you would want to play Player. So this is where you would play the opposite. So here we go. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Next hand, there we are. So um, we can see that it was a player. And in my opinion, the shoe has indeed flipped. So player is the opposite recommendation of what was winning. So let's go ahead and put a player in. Now the count goes down to three. Let's get to the next event. Okay, we got two more players. And now we have the next potential event. So here we are at the same position. We've got an unconfirmed banker. XTB opposite was winning into the shoe. It won this whole first half of the shoe. So the XTB opposite count is still leading, but it's not hot. And I've made the judgment call that I'm going to play the opposite side because I think it's flipped. I think the strong opposite run is going to turn into a strong repeat run. So let's see what we have here. And it was a banker. So a banker was the opposite of player. And it's still cold. Uh, XTB opposite is still cold. That means con on the converse, XTB repeat is hot. So we're going to put that banker in. And we're going to get to the next event. Okay, we're right back to player. Okay, so same position. We've got an unconfirmed uh, single here. We don't know if this is going to be an opposite, an XTB opposite, or an XTB repeat. We don't know if, it, if it's going to be a player two or a player one. So we go back to the app. We've been playing the XTB uh, counter. It was up to six. Now it's down to two. So XTB opposite in the first part of the shoe here, the XTB opposite recommendation won six more times than the XTB repeat recommendation. So XTB opposite was a six. Now we have went to XTB repeats. Multiple followed by a multiple, followed by a multiple, followed by a multiple, followed by a multiple. So repeats are winning, but the opposites, you know, we're still looking at the opposite count here. And, but the opposite count is losing and we want to play the repeat bet, which is going to be a player. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so we had XO2. Opposites are losing, but it's still going to recommend the opposite because the opposite count is still leading in over the entire shoe. Okay, so we went to player. Let's get to the next event. And bank. So now you can see, I hope you can see, how... The XTB opposite counter was at plus six, but then the shoe did a did a hard flip or a hard switch to XTB repeats. And like I said, the just to recap, opposites were when a multiple, uh, when a single follows a multiple or a multiple follows a single. Okay, that's an XTB opposite. XTB repeats are when the same event follows. Multiple, 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 multiple. This can also be single, 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 single. So I hope you can see that at right here at hand 28, we were at plus 6 on the count, which is an XTB opposite. So when the repeat started coming, we go plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, which is where we're at right now. Because in a running counter, the opposites are a plus 1, repeats are a minus 1. 
So we're at an event now. Um, XTB multiples are running. It did a hard switch because we were out of balance and now it's coming back into balance. So I am on the opposite side of what the counter shows. XTB opposite is cold. I've observed that the shoe has went from XTB opposites to XTB repeats, so I'm going to play the opposite of this, which would be, or opposite of the recommendation. So XTB opposite recommends player. I'm going to go with banker, and let's see what happens. Okay, so it did go back to player, and now maybe this change is over. So I'm going to stop here. I hope this helps. Um, Answer your question, Baldy. I'm going to see if I can think of anything else here. When the shoe flips, you'll be betting the opposite until the count can catch up with the opposite side wins. Okay, let me try to summarize again, um, just in case I got to rambling. So in this shoe, the first half was uh, XTB opposites were leading. An XTB opposite is when a single follows a multiple or multiple follows a single. So XTB opposites in, um, it's a plus one in our uh, running total count. So XTB opposites got up to a count of six at this point. So this one went from XTB opposites to XTB repeats. The flip was strong and it stayed. It stayed long enough to get us, um, you know, hopefully get some units out of that. Um, so at this point, at this hand, 28, XTB opposites were um, uh, a plus six, and then the XTB repeat started coming, and the count started going down, plus five, plus four, plus three, plus two. Over here on the app, since XTB opposite was leading and will continue to lead for, for a good ways in here, you have to recognize that one side or the other, you know, has went cold. XTB opposite is now cold after the switch. So that means XTB repeats are working. And you have to be mindful of that and know that if it's cold and you want to play the opposite side, you need to make the opposite bet of this recommendation right here. So um, I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions, and uh, um, I'll be happy to try to give you a hand with them. All right. Have a good one, folks. Bye.